Welcome back to the Photoshop for Architecture students. In this video we're going to add some annotations and text to our drawing. Now adding text is actually really quite simple. Um, the text tool is off to the left hand side tool palette. Now if we select the text tool here we've got the different um, control options here. Now I'm going to place my text. Um, Arial is actually not such a bad font. Now I'm going to make sure that the color is right. The, I want the text to come in as black. And I'm simply going to type in the text. This is going to be the upper level plan, so I'll just type in upper level plan. There we go. Use the move tool to put it into position. Now you can edit the text after you've typed it. So again picking up the text tool I can just highlight that text and I can change the size of it. Bring it up a size. It's probably a better size there and I can change the style of it. I'm going to go narrow bold. Brilliant. Okay, so I've got my upper level plan through there. I'm going to label my other drawings here. Lower level plan. Okay, now that's defaulted back to to the last setting that I had. Lower level plan. Yep. I might actually move that north point in scale bar. It's a little bit annoying where it is at the moment. So I'm going to sorry, just chop it out. So I'm going to cut that control X. Control V to paste it again. I'm going to put it in a slightly more ubiquitous spot between those two plans. Nudge those in. Okay. Rename that layer um, scale bar. Okay. So I'll nudge that down a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to move my lower level plan through there. Now I'm going to add in section. So I've got some just broad annotations through there. Now we can line up these two bits of text a little bit more accurately. Now how I can do that, I've just pulled a marquee selection over there. Now over in my layer panel I'm going to select my two bits of text through there and if I go to the application pull down menus if I go layer align layers to the selection now that's that marquee and I can align the left edges and what you can see is both of those two bits of text have snapped into position through there. Now I can undo the marquee and just nudge those up a bit. Brilliant. Okay. Now to do the lower level in the section I'm going to pull down another guide from the top there, highlight my section and then nudge that up so that it's nicely aligned. Excellent. So, very simple way of adding in text. Now, you can add in bulk text, but, you know, you can type in a, a whole bunch of text and, you know, we can edit it, as you know. But the thing is, is that if you start doing big essays of text, Photoshop doesn't really handle it very well, the spelling and so on are a bit problematic. So what I'm going to do is I've opened up a text file 
Now this is available for you in the resources. So I've typed in this text. This is a sort of a, a big um, sort of overview of the project. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy that from Word. So I'm going to go Control C to copy it. Drag that off to the sign. Then I'm going to get my text tool in Photoshop. I'm just going to make a text window. I'm going to drag it out. And then I'm going to go Control V to put that text in there. Now, the text is probably a little bit bigger than the overall area that I've given myself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my text, I'm going to highlight it. Now, I want this to be a slightly smaller text because it's just explanatory text. Um, I'll do it narrow, just normal narrow. You can see here, uh, next to my character, I've got the paragraph um, panel open. Now I can have the text just hanging normally, or I can justify it. I'll keep it justified. I'm going to narrow that text down a little bit more. Shrink down that text box. Okay. So there we go. Now, I might make that explanation a little bit more subtle. I'll pull it over the top there. Now, you know, unless you're a genius, you won't be able to read that very well. So, I'm going to go in here again, highlight that text, and I'm going to change the color to white. Go OK. And then hit my Move tool. OK. So there, we've got a white text on a darker background. It's still not brilliant, but I don't really want to create a lot of attention to it. If people really want to focus on that, they can spend the time to read it. But you can play around with what works and what doesn't work. Print it out and see what happens. Now as a final thing, I'm actually going to create myself another group in the layers. I'm going to create, call this group text and I'm just going to drag all of those text files into that group collapse that down so that it's all neat again through there okay so hopefully you've learnt a bit out of that Thank you for the next video which will be focused on uh, printing as a PDF and saving so we'll see you then